this is Compound Interest Talk at. Today in this video, we're gonna be talking about my feelings on the cannabis market and the commodities market in this current environment. So stay tuned. Hit the thumbs up. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, let's get that likes going up, 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 in a way. I also want to disclose I'm not a financial advisor. This is just for entertainment information purposes. Do not buy yourself based on anything I talk about. Buy yourself if you did your own research, due diligence, and you like the investments you're pursuing. If you're new to the channel, I talk a lot about cannabis, I talk about commodities, and uh, you know, I'm getting really in tune with the markets, with the big companies, the AAPLs, the Boeings, uh, all that stuff. I'm just keeping it on my watch. When I see it looks good for me, I will uh, enter positions. Uh, that's my uh, finger on the trigger. And uh, you know, I look at financial statements. I look at everything. I'm very, uh, very well rounded. I'm probably one of the best out there. That's underrated. Under a thousand subscribers for sure. I don't think you're gonna find someone as knowledgeable about uh, cannabis commodities and the whole market out there. I'm just an underrated guy on YouTube, but you know, in time, more people will know that I got a lot of valuable information. Anyways, uh, if you wanna subscribe, I'd uh, appreciate that. Hit that thumbs up, hit that bell for notifications, uh, share the video with friends and family. So, in this video, I'm talking about, first off, cannabis. Okay, cannabis is something that I've been following for a long time, uh, you know, cannabis market in Canada is growing bigger you know when I first uh, got legalized it was about 50 million dollars a month now we're up to about 160 or so million and that's excluding uh, medical uh, revenues which I'm sure is somewhere around 25 to 30 million a month in uh, in Canada so you know it's definitely getting up there in Canada then you got USA that's growing growing so my feelings is a lot of the companies are probably doing really good. I mean, I think True Leaf's doing very good, but there's definitely uh, headline risk with every company in the space. Usually people say sell in May and go away. Uh, for this year, I don't know. Are they gonna open up the economy, right? That's a, that's a really if. Uh, not to mention, are these companies gonna get money from the banking act? Are they gonna get loans, all this stuff like that. So I think there is a upside if some of these companies can get some loans. Uh, you know, it's it's a loan, it's just it's just adding more debt, but in the in the short term it could add some gains. Uh, the the negative side would be is some of these facilities they could close down. Uh, potentially uh, the government can say, oh no, you gotta shut down your business. They're already doing that with mines. Uh, I'm gonna get into that, uh, but yeah, no. Listen, that there's a lot of headline risk. I think you need to only invest in the most well capitalized, uh, the most uh, lean, mean operators, uh, the companies that you know they got a B plus or an A in the financials. You know, you, you gotta go for the best. You can't just go for the C minuses. I mean, can the C minuses go up 10x? Sure, but. Um, you know, uh, putting your hard-earned money right now when a lot of people don't know when they're gonna get their next work check isn't very wise in investment advice. Uh, I wouldn't uh, try to advise that. I think people need to uh, secure their future, uh, have cash for future arrangements. Uh, I also I think that precious metals, I, I even think that uh, cryptocurrencies could be used in the future uh, with uh, the situation that's going on. But I, I don't have time to discuss all that information, but you know, just take that at face value and you can research uh, further with that stuff. But I, I care about everybody uh, that watches my video and uh, subscribes and gives me thumbs up. Even if you don't give me a thumbs up, I still care about people. Um, you know, I want uh, people to be, to be more wealthy in the future and uh, you know, that's, that's my philosophy on life. So, my feeling is though with commodities, okay, so a lot of the miners, they did go down a bit uh, based on 
they keep shutting down the mines in different countries they're shutting down the mines getting told by government they gotta shut down their mines so who really knows maybe they're gonna nationalize these mines uh, countries are gonna own their own mines we're, we're in a very uh, uncertain circumstances in the world but uh, you know these mines are very it, just depending on the jurisdiction any jurisdiction really I mean you know who thought that they were gonna shut down Starbucks or McDonald's you know inside you know so that's uh you know that's cutting a lot of uh, revenue and GDP in the countries or across the globe across the globe not just in Canada or USA across the globe the GDP is going down so I mean with with commodities I mean if if we know that they're gonna start opening up these mines very soon and these are the biggest companies and they're well capitalized then that could be you know definitely something I'd be interested in right but I don't like the idea of knowing that you know the big companies like Pan American Silver uh, you know like Freeport McMoran big big copper miner that they're shutting down their mines right I don't like that it's very uh, adds a lot of risk to your stock can it still go up if the commodity price goes up yes but I, I like in this environment I really like uh, just ETS for an actual commodity I mean you can you can play uh, HOU for oil going up you can go HOD for oil going down you can go HNU for natural gas going up things like that uh, you can do all different things you can do there's like platinum ETFs I think it's like PPLT you can do SPPP for palladium and platinum I'm not so bullish on palladium to be totally blunt but um, you know it could definitely go up I am more bullish on platinum uh, with gold there's a GLD ETF uh, there's a SOV ETF but I prefer uh, the actual metal right if you own that metal it's yours uh, who's to know if these ETFs have all that backing them that's why there's a big difference in the spot price and uh, when you buy it at the bullion shop so I think it has to do with a lot of the premiums as well as the risk and stuff like that because the mines are closed and you just can't get it at a whole of them so when they open the mines I predict that the silver price will probably go down um, at the stores so who knows but I also can see the hyperinflation train uh, really rolling up I mean uh, JP Morgan the big uh, you know the big muscle behind the whole government in USA is gonna flex their muscle and hammer down silver at any turn but you know people want silver as well in uh, in the future if they really expand with this 5g and uh, you know more stuff like that with solar houses and all that stuff like that then uh, silver is uh, gonna be more used in industrial silver is also uh, can be used in medical um, yeah it has a lot of uh, great properties and uh, I think it's a very undervalued uh, uh, precious metal uh, when it was at about like 1150 you know hell if I could get everything in silver at that price you know I'd be pretty happy now it's at $16 within less than a month so you do the math um, but yeah I mean I, for real I think cannabis companies are very risky in this environment can some of them go up absolutely uh, can commodity companies go up absolutely but when they're not running um, Look, investing is all about risk, risk management, right? The biggest ballers, the biggest players in the in the market, understand risk management. You know, when there's risk on, there's risk off. So, look, you guys can invest into commodity companies. Uh, I am investing in some, but I haven't uh, pursued any in the last while. I've I've sold positions in companies like. Pan American Silver or um, even Nilsey like I had a position which I don't I think they had their minds running but I thought 
the price was going to continuously go down. Um, I, I like Nilsey. I may get a, a position back again with Nilsey. Like 20, 30 shares maybe. I mean, I'm not going to get 100 shares. The stock's at like $26 USD. So, but they're a big nickel player. I'm kind of disappointed. I wanted to go to this uh, lake, but uh, they closed it. Communism, fascism, socialism. Uh, they're trying to keep everybody in line, you know. They don't want anybody to be able to think for themselves, keep them in the box. All I can say is don't trust your government. Think for yourselves. Don't trust your government. And, uh, you know, have lots of food around. You don't know when these when these uh, grocery stores, they're... They're gonna have no food there. You don't know. I'm hearing a lot of negative things about going on and it could get a lot worse. When the government says don't do that, uh, it might be a reason to do that. Not to mention, uh, you know, they could end up uh, taking your cash out of the bank. They could completely uh, bail themselves out. Anyways, I got more stuff coming up. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening. My feelings on cannabis and commodities. Compound interest stock guy, CSG. Keep compound your info, listen to my lingo. Shaka, cut peace, I'm Audi 4-5. You guys take care on this sunny uh, Easter Friday.